So now that we have a live account that we are currently working with, I'll give a quick overview so you know how to navigate what the Katana platform looks like. So the Katana platform is, is broken down in several different screens. Um, some people might refer to those as modules, but we call them screens at Katana. And uh, these include the, uh, the sell screen, the make screen, the buy screen, stock items, contacts, and settings. And inside each one of these main components, there's additional information that can be used and updated. So probably the best place to start for us in general is the, is the actual settings page. The settings page is uh, consisting of all of the main information about your uh, manufacturing company. This includes uh, the general tab where here you set the base currency for your manufacturing company. Your base currency for your manufacturing company is literally the currency in which your business is built or operating on. And, um, and it also is um, how you do all of your costing. Now companies uh, that are doing purchasing and selling in different currencies, we support something called multi-currency, which is a conversion feature that allows you to buy from a supplier in a foreign currency and convert it back to your base currency. Um, and the same can be applied to selling. So if you sell something in a different market, it'll be sold in a different currency and we convert that currency back to your base currency when you're selling and buying things. So this is a very critical element when it comes to uh, tracking your costs because all of your um, accounting, uh, reporting, costing will be in the base currency that you set for your business. Now going further down this list in the general tab, we uh, have two types of deadlines. So when you're selling something, you usually have a delivery deadline. So how quickly or how quickly, um, what is the deadline you set for your business to get a certain item out to a customer? You can set this default here. And what this means is that if I make a sales order or let's say somebody buys something on um, the 1st of January, then if I have a 14 day delivery time for my sales orders, then that sales order from the 1st of January will have a delivery dead time on the 14th or 15th of January, which is 14 days later than the day that it was processed. And this is an automatic calculation on your sales orders for those types of scenarios. We also have a default lead time for purchase orders. So what is a lead time? A lead time is when do you expect something that you buy to arrive? In its most simplified terms, you buy something on Amazon. As a consumer, you're purchasing it. You're issuing a purchase order by making the decision to buy it. It if it typically takes 14 days for that to arrive, then that purchase order will have an expected arrival date 14 days away. So if I buy something from a supplier and it has a 14 day arrival time, then it will automatically set the lead time for that incoming material to 14, 14 days out from the time it was bought. And so these are related to sales orders and purchase orders within your Katana account.